Hello and welcome back to another video guys. In this video I'll be talking about this code here. The one that's highlighted in red or whatever colour it is. And this is to do with a fuel rail pressure sensor. So this fuel rail pressure sensor is this here. Okay. Now you can get it from a lot of places. Dealer, aftermarket, Bullseye, you're a car part, GSF. And it's found here basically. So let me get rid of this. So now I'm looking greasy around here so that's where the sensor is this is the new one and that's the old one there so what we'll have to do is take the sensor off um and then just use some sort of spanner to take it off um there's only usually that sensor really you've got another one here but that's the whole railing system but we'll change this one and hopefully all good good if not we'll have to change a lot including this sensor as well but yeah we'll get cracking by starting so, off it's as easy as just kind of pushing there and then pulling it out and i'm not going to really do much but here's a spanner 27 uh size 27 should we say and i'm gonna i can't usually use one hand but i'm gonna use both hands and put it in and open it that way i think it is it opens that oh way God, that is probably one of the hardest things i've come across so i did do put it on and look it snapped and then i only had this to work with so i use them um, special spanner that i had made myself shall we say it's 31 size 31 i'd say um doesn't matter really it's out now god it broke such an annoying thing so i'm putting this one in so i was right and you open it that way and you close it this way and as you can see that's all diesel coming in now it's fuel should we say right i'm gonna tighten it using both hands now so to conclude, uh, it did solve after plugging it in, um, you know, fitted the sensor back. We put it through the machine because the engine light was on because it didn't crank straight away. Uh, everything went perfectly fine. And the other sensor on the f uh, fuel rail um, on the other side, as I mentioned earlier, that's sensor B. So it'll be fuel rail pressure sensor B. The other one is sensor A. Um, but all solved, um, there's no, what it we're doing before, just I didn't quite explain, was the fact that every time you drove, you came to a stop, it just shut, the car just shut down on you. But this has managed to solve it, which is all good news. Uh, but yeah, that's where the sensor is located on the VW. So uh, Audi CS code VW, that's where it's located. But for the other vehicles, they'll be located elsewhere. You'll have to just find out.